with you guys. I am driving to Boston right now. I am so excited. I feel like I haven't been to Boston in the longest time now. Like it's been literally so long, but today's Wednesday. I'm literally just going for tonight, tomorrow during the day, and then I leave Friday morning since the Flyers are playing the Bruins tomorrow night. So I'm so excited to be able to see Max play in Boston. His whole family's coming. We have so many friends coming. It's going to be so much fun, but yeah. Um, if you're wondering where Brody is, by the way, I was just thinking about how I was missing him already. He's at daycare back in Allentown for two days since it would be a lot to try to bring him here or anything. Um, but I'm going to go since I'm driving. <laughs> I made it, you guys. Look who beat me here. <laughs> I love this hotel, I'm obsessed. I've never stayed at a Four Seasons before. And I just love the area in Boston that this is in. We're so close to everything, like Copley Square, all the things where we're gonna go to dinner tonight. I'm so excited. Also, the lighting in this mirror is impeccable. They must have known I was gonna vlog. Here's our little view. Boston is just how I remember it. Don't you think? Or do you feel like it's different? I mean, I've been here for 30 seconds, but I feel like it's kind of the same so far. to eat his arm off so we're gonna go <laughs> to my favorite restaurant of all time mm -hmm. I'm so excited right now it's called Giacomo's G Giacomo's <laughs> we don't really know but it's my favorite ah! I can't wait off to the dinner. like we never left <laughs> and even though it's cold like I was just saying Max I miss living in the city that you can walk around like this it's so fun Here we are, you guys. My favorite little restaurant ever. <laughs> wow, that looks yummy. It looks hot, too. <laughs> Is it good? Is it hot? <laughs> you guys, this is my favorite dinner of all time. Like, it really is. Like, this is why I make us come here. <laughs> the butternut squash ravioli. Yeah, you can take one. If you guys come to Boston, Giacomo's, Giacomo's, however you say it, there's one in, like, Back Bay, South End-ish. That's where we are right now. And then there's one in the North End. And, yeah, you guys need this. It's so yummy. Popping by the Prue. Just to walk around, see if we need any dessert. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> We found our way into Aritzia, and the music is really loud. <laughs> Keep wanting to vlog for you guys, but it's really loud in here, so bye. Now in another one of our favorite places. This one looks like there's like so many clothes everywhere. Oh, get in there, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you need ice cream to go with? Yeah. This is your fave. Yeah, don't you remember this? You have a bad memory. Uh, yeah, I remember now you do? Ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it? We got, if you come to Earl's, we have a little dessert moment. We got the, it's called like red pudding, but it literally is just like chocolate cake, I think. Mm -hmm. Or, it's just covered in chocolate sauce. Yeah. I don't know. I'm probably getting freaking copyrighted with this music everywhere. Mm -hmm. Swung by the gym at our hotel, you guys, just to look at it. It's literally massive. I'm like, this is crazy for a hotel. Maybe I'll get a little workout in in the morning. And look, there's a pool in here. How cool. I 
wish I brought my swim cap. <laughs> so cool. <gasps> oh, this bed's comfy. Ain't it? <sighs> this is how Brody lays. Mm. He's like half on the bed like this. Yeah. Half on the bed. Oh. Good night. See you in the morning vlog. Oh, I didn't even tell them what I'm doing. I have a whole day. Tomorrow. It's like that TikTok sound. My, or it's like, your schedule's filling up quick. Uh -huh. And it's the Kardashians, and she's like, Thursday, no boo, Friday, spray tan. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm getting my hair done all morning. And if you guys know me, you know that it takes like a million years. But I feel like Kyle is actually quicker than when I've been getting it done recently in PA. In PA, it'll be like six or seven now but I feel like he could bang it out in like four or five we'll see but I'm so happy he's squeezing me in if you guys remember Kyle at Solana Cote is who I religiously went to for years when I lived in Boston and I was so sad when I moved to PA because obviously I had to find someone new if you're blonde if you know you know it's so hard to like trust a hairdresser with your hair and so since I found him and like trusted him so much in Boston I like didn't want to go to someone new but I love my girl Stacy in PA but since I was here and like have roots anyway need to get them Done. I was like Kyle anyway you can squeeze me in last minute and he is he's such a gem so tomorrow morning going in bright and early to fix this whole situation that here mop. is the before um, a mop oh okay good morning you guys I'm whispering I'm all ready as you can see and bundled up but it's like 8 a.m. Um, and Max is still sleeping so sorry I'm whispering I gotta go I'm gonna stop to get breakfast little sun thing um maybe a chai latte if i can find one and then i'm walking to my hair appointment like i told you guys so here's the fit we're all bundled got my gloves in my pocket morning date with myself we got some avocado toast a chai latte I've missed this place flower so much and it was like right across the street so this is perfect also shout out Julia the girl working here was so sweet you guys she watched my video she wrote to be you and I literally interrogated her I wanted to know all about her life she's a junior she's a dance she's in political science which I was like girl you were smart couldn't be me <laughs> and yeah I just like love how many girls I've been meeting since I got to Boston because it feels like so welcoming and like at home. Yeah, it can be emotional. Doing my morning Newberry stroll to my hair appointment. I have missed it here so much, you guys. Feels like I'm home. I'm just in my feet. <laughs> just throw you on the spot real quick. Back with Kyle. Everyone, come to Kyle. If you know, you know. He's Boston, the OG. Baby. He's she's, the she's best. Back. Came Look back. at this. Spent the day with us in Boston. Okay. Oh, I should have done it before and after, but they saw my hair before. It was like atrocious. Oh yeah, I did show earlier in this vlog. Just a little darker. Maybe. Now we're all bright. We're doing great. <laughs> back at the hotel, you guys. My hair seriously turned out so well. I'm so obsessed. No more really dark roots. I was saying I was shaved before and after, but I literally showed you last night like how dark my roots were. He does such a good job. So obsessed with just brightening me up. And he's just the sweetest planet. Sweetest planet. <laughs> the sweetest human being on this planet. And I'm so happy we got to catch up. I know so many of my Boston girlies, you guys go to him. I was just getting so many replies to my story, like so many DMs being like, oh my God, I've always gone to him ever since you were in Boston and you were posting about him. Like he's the best. So anyway, yes, I'm back. And you know what we're gonna do right now before I forget? You guys look at this DM I got. Not Paige exposing me. Okay, she goes, festive phone case, girly. I was like, I'm so embarrassed. I've had this phone case. Well, I'm not embarrassed. It's the cutest phone case ever. But obviously, it's like mid-January now. So I need to switch this right now. We're going to do it on camera. I figured we could do it on camera together because Casefy is actually sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Casefy, for sponsoring this video because I've only used Casefy phone cases on my phone for years. Like, literally a million years. <laughs> like, I've only used them for the longest time. So they're the best. They are so protective. And I'm actually switching to this one that's a little bit less festive, a little more normal since, um, yeah, it's not Christmas anymore. Oh, cute. I love 
the way this looks because I have like the dark gray iPhone and then this is just like black cheetah but anyway this is actually the ultra impact case and then this is the impact right here so if you can just see the ultra impact has like a little bit extra protection on the corners and then this one as well they are just so protective they actually have a two layer construction in their phone cases called Chi Tech, Chi Tech 2.0 actually, and it makes their phone cases just super durable against drops. They have military grade drop protection, so your phone will be a-okay, perfectly safe for drops up to 9.8 feet, which is like unreal. Like these phone cases are insane, you guys. Look at how thin, but being so protective at the same time. I know the Impact and Ultra Impact cases are also made up of 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and they're actually 100% non toxic, non-hazardous, and they have an antimicrobial coating, keeping your phone case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. I could talk about them all day long. I know like all the things about them because I've been such a fan for so long and obviously they come in so many cool like prints and designs you can customize your name initials i'll insert some footage of a bunch of the cases i have i probably have a million because i just love them so much i love like the festive ones for the holidays just like their simple prints the cheetah i love so much obviously i love the custom like photo ones i've done with brody like they are just so so good so i'll have case by link down below in this video again so much for sponsoring if you go to casebycom slash gretchen you can get 15 percent off your new favorite phone case and now which by the way my link is always to the same when people are like oh my gosh what's your case by link casebycom slash gretchen always get 15 percent off your favorite phone case now i gotta switch into my nighttime game time outfit and i actually have to did i just no i didn't even explain i have to pack up everything over here at like max's hotel because i'm switching to a new hotel tonight with my best friend hannah and lucy my twin sister which is going to be closer it's like literally across the street from td garden just because that will be a lot easier like after the game we can legit walk across the street and just be there since max flies home to pa after the game tonight anyway yeah i think they fly home like literally right after the game so Switching hotels, I gotta like get everything together over here. Did I ever put my perfume on today? Oh, you guys, I'm so obsessed with this perfume. I think I showed yesterday in a little clip of getting ready, like spraying it on. It smells so good. Um, I need to get like a travel size if they even have that because I just love it so much. And I like wasn't bringing it with me when I was going places because it's like a huge bottle. And then I'm like, no, I miss it. I literally love it so much. Like the way it smells, I need to just bring the whole thing with me. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540. It's way, way, way too expensive. Like don't get it. Honestly, don't waste your money. But... I'm happy I did because I love the way it smells. Like if you're a crazy perfume person like me or just, I'm just really obsessed with the scent and I feel like nothing else smells just like it. I mean, you guys probably know the dupes. I'm sure you could like Google some dupes of it. It just smells so good. And I just do one little spray, spread it around. Um, yeah, anyway, okay, I'm trying way too much. There's Max's alarm and I gotta pack up all my crap to move it to the other hotel. And to everyone making fun of me with my festive phone case after the holidays, this is for you, okay? I switch. I missed it here, you guys. Look at how pretty it is out. I just love everything about Boston. Here's for Max Place tonight, you guys. I'm so excited. Our hotel is like literally right up there across the street. Ah, I can't wait. Hi, ladies. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Look how cute these girls are. Should I bite his eyelash in half? Oh, um, you don't have scissors? Yeah. I bet you could. You could probably <laughs> use tweezers. Oops. Like, you know, those yeah, the tweezers. tweezers. I don't have tweezers. Wait, I brought no. you right now. You're glowing. Thank you. Your hair looks so cool. GLB did my hair. <laughs> this is Gretchen's. I keep saying barbershop. Isn't that for boys? Beauty Gretchen's parlor. beauty parlor. Let's go. I'm doing Gretchen's Gretchen's hair. Pro down, pro down. <laughs> <laughs> about your stomach no. after you eat sweet green. Tell us the sound it makes. Sang a bit of a song. <laughs> Had a melody. Come on, save no, her. That, so was, that was That was really funny. She goes, I was trying to nap after my sweet green. And we said we was going. <laughs> it was singing a song. It's like your stomach sings a sweet green song after you have it. It's like, damn, that's a lot of ingredients. <laughs> 
That's a lot of ingredients. <laughs> and it's so funny on the vlog. Like no one, well it's because you are in real life, so then that comes across on the vlog. I feel like anyone that has a massive sweet green salad, you can't tell me that you were not bloated afterwards. That it's not making noises, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's, it's the sweet green song. I just always feel so bloated because it is like so much volume. Like yeah. the quantity of food. Well, well I think, you know, leafy greens are hard to break down sometimes. Yeah, I think I have that problem. That's so why I was like, oh. you just drink smoothies because it's yeah. easily digestible. I'd rather have you know, it's funny how it's different all the way around. So I could no, no, they don't. Yeah, split in half. You guys, look at Hannah's jeans. Oh, crap. I ran into the wall. Wait, give us a twirl, both of you. Let's do outfit of the nights, people. Okay, you first. My jeans. I They're love half them. light blue, half medium blue. Mm -hmm. They're from Re Revice Denim. Mm -hmm. They zip down and around. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they zip in half. You could take the two legs apart. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, like if, if the flyers went, I'd be like. Shh. You're just going to fly it open. <laughs> fly it open. This shirt is from Lululemon. Can you guys believe? And it's so cute. It almost looks like leathery because it's like shiny. You know? I forget what it's called. I just pulled out the She's tag. She's so soft. I love it's it. It's like the it's the foil leg material, but in a shirt. I love it. And, so nice. and Lulu and Lulu little mm -hmm. pout thing. Lulu fanny. I love yeah. Lulu fanny. And my soft booties are from ASOS. We love. Yay, okay, you next. Give me a good lighting. Yep, it's great. Okay. You look wonderful. So we have. Where should I start? Jeans. Zara jeans. Zara jeans, of course. Love I got them. the the revolve right. Yep. Booties. Yeah. Via Gretchen. And yep. Oh, that's Citizen. Yep. Also on revolve. Also from Gretchen. <laughs> I'm wearing my mom's old necklace. <laughs> Vintage oh, little gold. It really is. Wear it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Outfit by mom and dad. Yeah, dad's old jacket. So cute. so cute, look at you. Oh, I didn't show my necklace. You guys look great. Oh, where's your necklace from? Tell us. It says, baby, baby. <laughs> you look glowing in this lighting. Telling. Your eyes are so green. Oh, yeah. I always used to tell Hannah no, that her eyes were blue. Because she has I green eyes. She's just a little highlighter. Yeah, it looks great. Just the my top is free, people. Yeah, you didn't take it. Should I film here. you? Yeah, I don't really know how to film that Just long. No, just it's on. You just hold it. Wow, so stunning. She's okay. beautiful, stunning, and smart. Look at her. She is beauty and grace. She's okay. Miss GLB. This is free, people. Ooh. This is Versace, Gucci, Louis. <laughs> Everything expensive. <laughs> Isn't that a TikTok thing when they yeah. lie about each thing? They're like, this is Gucci. Or they'll be like, these Dunkin' Donuts, these Chrome, Maybe. Trader okay. Joe's. Yeah, I'm all over the place. These are Abercrombie. Just got them. These are really old. From Steve Madden. This right here is free people. This is a push up bra because I don't have boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and that booty, she was born with it. <laughs> From my mama. <laughs> my hair is also fake, not mine. Oh no, it is mine. It's not extensions. This is all mine, I swear. Look at I have proof. <laughs> But I just mean this is absolutely not my color. My color would be that color. And we just put a lot of bleach on it. Mm, here we go. Hair would be as dark as no. no, my hair. It's more of like a medium brown. My hair is more like dark. Too. Yeah. Here we go. The garden. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Show me your picture. 
the whole crowd. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lucy! <laughs> Hi, you. <laughs> I'm ready for you. Okay. Maybe I can still get tea Anthony's until 12:45. Wow! Uh, I gotta, you gotta pull like the twist. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna do heel toe. <laughs> You keep kicking it out of my hand. feel like driving five hours back home to Pennsylvania right now. I feel like I can't see because I was just on my computer, my laptop so much. Just like get my stuff together before I head out. Although I don't feel like doing this whole long drive home. I am so, so excited to see Brody. Like I need to leave right now because I just can't wait to hold him and squeeze him and hug him and pet him. Like I've missed him so bad. This trip has made me realize how attached I am to Brody. So maybe this time apart has been good for the two of us. I think he's independent without me and I feel like I've been such an independent person and I am, but just not without my dog. <laughs> Like now I'm just dependent on him. <laughs> no, I just miss him really bad. Like I just love him so much and I feel like I don't literally, like literally I do not sleep as well without him because I'm just so used to him like cuddled up next to me and yeah, I really miss him. Okay, before I talk about missing him too much, I need to just go so that I can see him. But yeah, sorry if I didn't vlog that much um, last night. It was like very crazy, like such a whirlwind. Max afterwards was like, wow, I'm so overwhelmed. Like it was just crazy having like so, so, so many of his like friends and family come from all over, but mainly like the Cape where he's from. Cause obviously Boston is like, he grew up like watching the Bruins. Like this would be like his hometown team, I guess, even though he's from the Cape, it's like the closest, you know, NHL team. And it was just so crazy to see him like play against the Bruins. It was insane how many of you guys I met. Like I have never met so many subscribers all at once, but it was so much fun. I was loving every moment of it. All of you that I got to meet and squeeze and hug and chit chat and ask all about your life. Like, thank you because it just makes my day. And I was like, see, this is what I miss. I told so many of them. I was like, this is what I feel like I miss a lot of the time in Pennsylvania, just where I am. There's obviously less people. Like there's way more people in Boston. I feel like so many of my viewers are here just because I lived here for so long and so it was just so fun to be able to like chit chat and hang out with you guys Two girls I met actually it was their 21st birthday and I'm like you're kidding me and we literally took shots together <laughs> It was so much fun and I was just like see this is what I miss you guys are my girlies Like it was just so much fun hanging with my girls. It's like we're all besties. We already know each other like we literally had the best time Um, but yeah, it was really great. We got like a little box with his friends and fam I don't even know if I said that but it was so great to all be together and like be able to see one another and stuff So I didn't even like film with like Chase I don't think or his mom or dad or cousins or grandparents But they were all there and yeah, it was just like very special. It was really really cool and afterward <laughs> We were all waiting to see Max afterwards and he like comes out of the locker room down the hallway and there had to be like 40 of us standing there cheering and we were like wow and he was like oh my god like, the biggest crowd of people so amped up to see him and he was like wow okay like where do I start I'm like okay little superstar but yeah it was really so much fun I am so happy that Lucy and Hannah made the drive they had to leave bright and early this morning because Hannah literally worked today today's Friday um back in Albany so they left at like 5 a.m but I'm so happy that they came because it was so fun they're like obviously my besties my real day ones and i posted my story i was like wait lucy is like legit my day one like we shared the womb <laughs> anyway okay i need to go um i'm like gonna throw my crap together and drive home i think i'm gonna stop by tate on the way out i was gonna like have my crap together this morning i had this like vision of me like going on a walk around boston and like having a lot of time stopping in a tate and of course i slept in i'm like so tired and i'm like i just want to get home i'm probably gonna just like pick it up on my way out and yeah Grabbing so that's the plan. my tate you guys i'm so excited i've missed it here so much look how cute it is in here i got my uh favorite little yogurt bowl with like silly like kind of like granola fruit and then an iced chai i'm so where i used to live here in boston and it's making me sad <laughs> like so sad 
Oh, this has been an emotional trip for me because I just love it here so much. It feels like home. I felt so welcomed back here and like loved and yeah, I just can't wait to be here for the summer. I'm gonna, this is like pushing me. It's like giving me a sense of urgency to look at places here for the summer and figure out what we're gonna do. We don't know if we should do like long term sort of Airbnb so we don't have to worry about furniture because if we do like short term lease, we don't have to worry about furniture. If any of you guys have an apartment in Boston that you're just, I don't know, gonna, it's like gonna sit empty this summer, let me know. If you don't care about a big furry golden running out. No, I'm kidding, but oh uh, yeah, we gotta figure that out. I'm also so mad at myself. This chai is so yummy. Why have I like never had Tate's iced chai latte? Maybe I like wasn't as obsessed with ice chais when I lived here. This would also be so good hot. I kind of wish I got it hot. It's like cold out and I know I showed you in there, but <laughs> let's do an unboxing. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like someone had to, he's trying to park behind me. I should get driving, but look at this. <sighs> I'm so excited. It's like the yummiest yogurt bowl. I wish mine at home looked like that. I think it's all in there. I think it's not granola. It's called Musilli. I don't really know what the difference is, but I think it's all in that. Like why it tastes so good. I also think they do like honey or agave or something. And the way they like cut the apples. Oh, yes. <laughs> Was that clip from when we were reunited, huh? When I first got home. <laughs> I just set up my phone, so that's why that was on my phone. But I'm going to end off this vlog here officially now. Thank you guys for watching the Boston vlog. So happy I'm back home. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.